everybody. Welcome to Movie Buffers, episode 8. This is Jordan. How's it going out there? Bad? Okay. We're moving on. Uh, I've had a pretty interesting few weeks. I'm now sick as shit. My son got sick, and he has been he was sick for like a week and a half, and then I finally caught it. And so I've been out of commission for like the past five, six days. Just wanting to sit back and watch movies on Monday. I'm going to be taking off for a little while, so I want to get an episode out there. Uh, and this episode is going to be about the 4K restoration of An American Werewolf in London. I picked that one up. And then later on, I'm going to talk about The uh, Last Waltz, a 4K Criterion Blu-ray that just came out on the 30th. And uh, we're going to see which one's the best 4K. So later on, I'll see if The Last Waltz takes the cake. So I picked up the 4K restoration of An American Werewolf in London, and this is my first time watching through this all the way. It's always been a movie, it seems, that I would see it at like somebody's house or on TV, but I'd partake in watching it every time. It's a very entertaining movie. I really miss this era. It's taken the pandemic drought of dry predictable entertainment to go back and appreciate more films from the 80s and early 90s. In this episode, I'll talk about the quality of the scan on this Arrow 4K Blu-ray, And I'll talk about the quality of the film as well. And fuck it, I might as well give it a score or something. Have you seen this movie? Like and comment below. Help our page out. So the structure of this film is, you know, undeniably done well. It's coherent. And sure, there's a lot of obvious cheesy dialogue and hypersexuality in random spots of this film. For instance, the nurse love interest was totally unnecessary to the plot of the film. But, uh, I mean, let's talk about the special effects, though. They're obviously practical, and all the special effects are using perspective shots and uh, off-screen violent half shots. The scenes are intense, and the torn flesh and the wounds, pretty much all the gore is incredibly realistic. And I was hooked uh, whenever a violent scene was happening. Not much camp. Uh, the 4K scan of this uh, from Arrow Video, it looks amazing. The chase scene through the subway, you know, is it's, it's absolutely stunning. Also, I love experiencing these films on, on these new scans. It feels like I'm watching it in a cinema in the period of their release. Dolby Vision, with or without, you know, it looks incredible. For all you Samsung owners out there lacking that Dolby Vision, I feel your pain. I'm a big supporter of uh, physical media. I like owning these films. So uh, support these companies like Arrow, Shout, Scream, Kino Lorber, and of course Criterion. These are always the best choices and worth the extra 10 10 or so bucks. So uh, I highly recommend this 4K Blu-ray of American Werewolf. I also love that this is a slow burn. You see little action. The rest is just a mystery until the third act. I was recently criticized by a judge in a festival about uh, one of my screenplays for taking too long to get to the third act. And then when it got there, it was too short for them, which was what I was kind of going for. I, I love subtlety. I like the slow burn of the original alien. We don't see his wolf transformation until the last 25 minutes of the film. I think it's perfect. This movie's genre is labeled as a comedy horror, and it does get rather uh, cheeky as as he's running through the streets of London naked. I don't know where he found that outrageous coat, man. It's crazy how much humor John Landis brought brought to this movie at the end. It's almost like it's almost like he's British, but he's not. They hit all the marks. Two backpackers, hitchhikers as well, you know, from America, lost in the country outside of London. They come across the tavern with the unfriendly folk that seem to be hiding a dark secret. They spot a like pentagram or something. They get kicked out and then get attacked by a werewolf. The full moon arises. One friend dies. One friend carries the curse of the beast. Now, I'm not a huge werewolf kind of guy, but this was done right. I feel the second act in the hospital is the weakest, but it's silly, and at least it leads to something. A giant climax to an anticlimactic ending. (laughs) Wow, dude. What a fucking ending, though. They just shot him dead after she tries to calm him down. You know, know, like kind of like uh, Scarlett Johansson in the Hulk in the Avengers movies. She's like trying to calm him down. And then she confesses her love to him, and they just pop him in the in the head, like right in front of her. And then the movie just ends. It's kind of fu- like it's like a fucked up cold open to a TV show, and I loved it. And then credits, humorous credits. I really liked this film, and uh, I loved the end. A lot of crazy practical chaos. And um, well, that's it. What do you think? What do you think of the new transfer? Give this film a shot if you haven't seen it. 
And then last but not least, I'm uh, excited about this one. I didn't even know that they were restoring The Last Waltz. Uh, it got a 4K Criterion release on March 29th. So I bought that shit right away. Now I got mine from a popular bookstore. I won't mention where, but it showed up with the art all crinkled up in the front. Uh, there's no sleeve or fancy bookcase for it. So just the clear white Criterion case. So I was a little bummed that it lacked some of the, you know, box art that I've been seeing recently on the 4K Blu-rays from coming from Criterion. Anyhow, the 4K, uh, the 4K Blu-ray is the way to experience this. As it states in the beginning of the film, this movie should be played very loud. This Criterion is a time capsule to this moment in time. We get to experience a sold-out show that people camped for days to see. The end of an era, a band that inspired so many. It started out, you know, backing for Dylan, only to rise to their own fame and glory. I think this movie will make you smile and dance. It's also quite sad, too, when you remember what it is that they're doing here, which is ending their band, the band. And, you know, then, and there's all these big names in it. You know, there's Ringo Starr, Dr. John, Joni Mitchell, Bobby Dylan, many, many more. And let's not forget the amazing band itself, the band uh, themselves. They're, they're legends on the stage. And we get to sit right next to their faces as they belt their ballads and jams. And uh, the Dolby Vision is great, but I don't think it serves too much to the film. So if you have a Samsung, I think you're good. I recommend this film. I think it's a five-star project. I think I found a new Thanksgiving tradition. Put this filmed record on your 4K Blu-ray player and just drown out the world for a bit. All right, well, that does it for another episode of Movie Buffers. This is Jordan. I'm going on vacation now.